We'll learn about another artist working with haptic technology later in the program, but for now, we'll travel from Seoul to California, where we'll meet a sculptor whose ocean-inspired works take conservation to a whole new dimension. Whimsical, fantastical, immersive. A world where others can step inside your imagination. I'm in a giant orb right now. For socio-ecological artist Colleen Flanagan, this virtual space is her canvas. With two wands in your hand, you can select various brushes just on a color palette. So I see it as a way to sculpt in space. It takes you way beyond the 2D graphic computer programming. Google's four-year-old VR app, Tilt Brush, allows users to create 3D imagery with a controller that mimics the gestures of painting. After 23 releases, the software is gaining in popularity amongst virtual, mixed, and augmented reality fans. The great thing about Tilt Brush is very similar to Stream of Consciousness. You can take a full immersive orb space and just start picking a brush and going and then soon that creative part of you it's talking it's doing it your body is also a tool that's receiving information that's very cool relationship with that tool based in california's coastal town of santa cruz colleen has found her creative niche where art meets activism taking her virtual designs into the physical world First, let's talk about your muse, the ocean. You said your artwork is whimsical, it's quirky, but I think at the heart of it, you're celebrating ocean's diversity, right? Biodiversity. The fact that we have so many species in the ocean that we still haven't even discovered yet, I guess I want to be a part of living with them and understanding them more. One of her more ambitious projects is Zoe, a living sea sculpture underwater in Cozumel, Mexico. The welded steel structure inspired by DNA helixes produces low voltage electric currents to attract minerals onto a metal matrix. Corals can then cement to this natural substrate, making it a functioning coral reef. Corals right now with ocean acidification and climate change, you know, they're, they're, very, they're likely to be the first major ecosystem to go extinct. So when I learned that you could help revive coral reefs using a sculptural um, electrolysis process in the sea, it catalyzed a deeper desire to investigate and collaborate with the ocean. For Colleen, Tilt Brush has been a useful tool in planning new reef sculptures. So before Tilt Brush, I felt that a lot of my colorful and fanciful ideas would be trapped forever in my head. And so after Tilt Brush, I can go in there and spend a few hours and quickly whip out a bunch of different coral colonies and different fish. I can visualize and design and go between our physical reality and our imagination. You have the freedom to be able to create an almost limitless underwater world and to appreciate the beauty of the oceans and the need to protect them. Art is a catalyst for change. It can help speak to people who just, they're not thinking about the ocean, or maybe they are, but they feel paralyzed somehow. And art allows a lot more people to, to come and join. So everyone can start to say, oh, now I see how will I get involved in this next phase of rebuilding a sustainable future for our planet.